Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle Channel. This video, we get to see the Ducati e-bike get upgraded into something a bit more worthy of the Ducati name. I might be showing my age a bit here, but when I think of Ducati, my image is of Casey Stoner going wheel to wheel with Valentino Rossi. What I don't think of is an e-bike powered by Shimano's 250 watt steps motor. So this is the story of how this bike was transformed. Enjoy. Okay, this is the uh, Ducati MIG S uh, conversion from Shimano steps to uh, Bafang M625 with a high voltage upgrade kit and an upgraded 52 volt high output battery. All right, let's see what it's got. Let's do it. Give it to me like. <laughs> Okay, hey folks, this is the Ducati Big S model. Normally, when you purchase this bike, it is a Shimano Steps motor with a 36 volt battery. And this motor has been converted to allow a Bafong motor to be mounted. This current motor is an M625 with a high voltage upgrade kit. And let's do a little walk around and check it out. All right, let's get right to the heart of the uh, bike. So <clears throat> we took the Shimano Steps EP8 motor off. We have an, a, bra a bracket in here that's been adapted to fit the bolt hole pattern of the Shimano Steps. This allowed us to put the Bafong m625 motor which is normally rated at a thousand watts and what we did is we actually bumped it up and put a high voltage external controller kit upgrade kit this is the uh, bac asi uh, 855 and nice 3d printed cover here by have voltage and then here's the um, motor itself and uh, we we're allowed to uh, with this bracket able to get the motor further up into the frame to kind of give it a streamlined look <clears throat> we took a, um, a mud guard just to kind of create a little bit of a cover here because you have a gap here if you don't have it and just kind of keep it clean this is all our control wires coming up around <clears throat> We try to keep that as clean as possible. The real trick to this build was the battery. Uh, I'll be honest with you, this was complicated, but figured that out. But the battery, the 36 volt battery, this space is really tight. This is the stock cover that comes with the bike. What we did is we removed the 36 volt battery completely, had a custom battery made, uh, 52 volt. With molly cell batteries uh, high output ant bms and uh, this battery allowed us to get it mounted up inside this small area we custom fabricated a bracket out of aircraft aluminum we used the existing battery mounts to mount the bracket and then the battery fits in that pretty nice and tight and then we've got some pretty heavy-duty zip ties here holding the battery into this bracket uh, And then we've got this piece that's been added and that's bolted in also so <clears throat> Pretty rugged we've uh, tested it on quite a few trails and uh, We haven't had any issues with anything moving. We did initially have some creaking going on here But we just had to retighten all the bolts uh, make sure everything was good um, that's pretty much it. 